This is the TX3 mini Android box, and there's actually a slew of these around, and they're similar in performance right around the Raspberry Pi 3, Raspberry Pi 4, but it's an Android box that's gonna emulate some pretty cool stuff, and it, the, for the price point, you really can't beat it. So Galisteo recently made a image using the MU Elec front end, and over 14,000 games on a 128 gigabyte micro SD card out the door with the controller and everything is way well under $100 to get this up and running. And it could play everything from Atari all the way up to Dreamcast. A little bit of lag here and there, the same stuff you'd expect with the Pi, Raspberry Pi 3B. Um, super, super cool, lots of games. Uh, once you get it all set up, it, it rocks and it rolls. And honestly, I was really impressed with this little Android box that still plays Netflix and YouTube too. So to start with a quick unboxing, I brought this brand new on Amazon. It came with tax and everything way up well under $40, like $38. So it comes with a um, remote, power, and HDMI cable. It does have a micro SD slot, two USBs over there, dedicated ethernet, coaxial. To that little front end, it tells you the time. Um, it's really thin and small, and it doesn't consume a lot of power. This is what it looks like if you don't use the custom image we're about to use. And next up, you'll notice there's a lot of these boxes that are slightly more powerful and slightly less powerful. Here's a list in case you're wondering what this would be compatible with. I um, had to do this in order to get it to boot off my micro SD card. Go ahead and have it hooked up your display, HDMI, go ahead and have your controller plugged in, have your SD card all burned and ready to go and inserted. And um, on the back here is a reset button, but something really small, go ahead and, it's a little clicky button. Go ahead and hold that down while you simultaneously, make sure you have a good positioning, have it held down, see how I still have it pressed on, plug in your power cord at the same time, and then until it starts booting up, then release the reset button. For some reason, that triggered it to reset and boot off the SD card. All right, so here we are. Galistio just finding all the interesting stuff. This is a little Android TV box that I have a 128 gigabyte micro SD card in, and I have just so many games at my disposal. Basically, long story short, if you like Galistio's old 128 gigabyte recall box builds, it's that build ported over or redone to this Android TV box. And according to him and what I've seen so far, this is more powerful than the Raspberry Pi 3B. That being said, you can get this whole box for around $30 or so. So if it comes as far as price to performance, this so all games 1400 game 14,000 games on this little Android box that's going to play all the way up to Nintendo 64. Now if you're looking for Nintendo 64 performance, definitely go for an Nvidia Shield or a Raspberry Pi 4. This is not going to give you very good Nintendo 64 performance. However, all these systems you're seeing right here are going to run just great. Let's just go ahead and do a run through really quick. 14,000 games. We've got Wonder Swan Color, 91 games. We got Wonder Swan, 112. We got Virtual Boy, 29. Vetrex, 971. PC Engine Super Graphics, you got the same five. Um, there are no video snaps, but um, there are all the, you know, all the box art and things. Super Nintendo, almost 1400. He has the folders here. So you got the Brazilian games, Satellaview, Super Famicom, Hacks. This is just like recall box as far as settings. It is gonna come in Portuguese to get started, but you can just go down to system settings, go to language and change the language. Oh, I thought I had it on English this whole time. That's weird. Anyways, it should, I don't know why it said Deutsch there. It should be English. Um, yeah, it is English, so that's weird. Anyways, so we got the hacks. You got a bunch of hacks. And then he's got all the NES games. He's got Sega. 1068 he's got sega cd 36 so not a whole lot these are going to run just fine on this device sega 32x 37 50 playstation games here are playstation games nice selection these are going to play just fine most of this stuff's running off a of retro arc so you have full customizability there runs really good so he's got a few PSP mini, here's the PSP games, and then he has a eight PSP mini games. 
ports. You got full games. Some of these are going to be in Portuguese. It's one of the things about going with the Galistio image is when it comes to the ports. But Doom and Quake is all going to be in English. But Cave Story, I imagine, is in Portuguese. PC Engine CD, 22 of these. Nice to see. These are a little larger in size. Then we have TurboGrafx 16 PC Engine. Big, big set, 290. Open Bore. So there you go, you got your 20 Open Bore games. Odyssey 2, 116. 82 Neo Geo Pocket Color. Neo Geo Pocket 9. There are bezels on a lot of this. So NES, here you get the, the folder system again. You got the DynaVision games. You have the Brazilian games. You got 700 hacks. And then if you don't care about the hacks, just leave them there in the little folder. And you got all your NES games. You can hit select at any time to filter the games. Look at all that. Same thing you'd find in Recall Box. Almost identical. Let's go ahead and go back. Neo Geo, 197. Neo Geo CD, you got 81 games here. Nintendo DS. Yeah, it'll run DS. So quite a few of these. Actually, just a few. Uh, Naomi doesn't run amazing. I gotta give it that. It's not like the Raspberry Pi 4. You're not gonna get the same, but it runs. Okay. Nintendo 64, you gotta run this on 480p. You're not running any 720, 1080p Nintendo 64 on this thing. Sega Mega Drive, as also known as Genesis. Again, you're gonna have these folders up here. You got the Japanese games, Brazilian games, hacks, and then your regular library. Library. Sega Mark III Master System. You got a bunch of uh, folders here as well to some of those other systems and regions. And then Mame. So you got 26 hack. Well, it's actually only five hack games. And then uh, so this arcade set is not. Perfect. I actually found some games that would not load. I think I have to change out the core on them to run. Um, but as far as the performance of the machine, it's going to play all these games no problem whatsoever. And Television 159, uh, Game Boy Color 547, Game Boy Advanced, pff, so many. You got and you got Japanese games 650, 155 Brazilian games. So probably one of the biggest Game Boy Advanced libraries I've seen ever. Game Boy 491. That's pretty much all of them. Sega Game Gear. Almost all of them 263. Game and Watch 53. Famicom 229. Final Burn Neo Geo. You got some Street Fighter hacks on here or just the Street Fighters. Even the movie. You got some hack games. Some more Street Fighter hacks. And then you got your C, I guess these are all the CPS systems from the looks of it. Dreamcast 24. Yes, this will play Dreamcast. A Thomas Wave, again, similar to Naomi as far as performance. Not the best, but playable. Atari Lynx 76, 7800 Atari 64, 5200. You have 73, and then 2600, 643. And then he's got his favorites here. It does have that sound. You can turn off system sounds. So we can go ahead and turn those off if you want. Then it doesn't click anymore.
over. You win. Welcome back to the stage of history. Shanfa, battle one, fight! So final remarks is, wow, yeah, if you want to send somebody a birthday gift or just get really cheap emulation, these Android boxes are super cheap. The other thing is you can always take out this SD card. You could run this thing on your TV, run Netflix, run YouTube. You cannot say the same thing with the Raspberry Pi. The Raspberry Pi running Kodi is not great unless you have the Raspberry Pi 4 and you have, you know, some extra RAM. This thing will run Netflix. It will run YouTube. Um, it is an Android device, so you have full access to the Android store. There are super big pros to buying this. And so um, while the community is not maybe not necessarily as big, this is still really cool, really nice stuff. So I got to give this an A. Like This is really cool. Plug and play emulation on a little Android box with a lot of other features and outputs and things. So as you see from the spec sheet here, it's got a ton of stuff. It even has coaxial uh, access, it has Wi-Fi, Ethernet, um, low power consumption, a nice CPU. So a lot of really nice stuff that will come in handy. So anyways, that's what I think. Let me know what you all think. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next one.